Good evening, everyone. Thanks for choosing Acadia and his news channel at 10. I'm Aaron Stuber. Stephen has the evening off. Cooler weather is finally here, and when it's common for Acadiana residents to start kicking on their heaters, it's even more common for residents to fire up the stove for some gumbo. But according to the Lafayette Fire Department, last year it's estimated one fire a week started in the kitchen. As our Alex Labot reports, the fire department is working to make sure you and your family are safe. Out in Treehan, what the Lafayette Fire Department says, the leading cause of fires in the kitchen are from individuals leaving their pots and pans unattended. It's very easy to do. You know, what we find is that individuals either leave the room or leave the house with the stove on. And there is, you know, they're either frying something, they're cooking something on top of the stove top, leave it unattended, and next thing you know, there's a fire. To prevent a fire from igniting in the kitchen, Treehan suggests moving flammables like paper towels and oven mitts away from the stove. It can easily ignite, and once it ignites, it's going to catch the, the wooden, you know, cabinets, the uh, some towels, the rags, anything you have nearby on fire. And at that time, it's going to be too late. Trahan also suggests moving children away from the stove and creating a kid-free zone of about three feet from any open flame. Because number one, you want to make sure that the pot handles are turned in so the kids don't accidentally knock over what's hot in the pot or what's grease could burn them, but also teaching them fire safety measures. In other words, have a fire escape plan, learn two ways out of the house, and also make sure mom and dad has a working smoke detector and that they test it at least once a month. If a pan does ignite, don't panic just yet, Trahan says covering the flame might prevent it from spreading. I have a working fire extinguisher somewhere or nearby just in case there's a small fire and also have the lid. Believe it or not, if you can grab the lid, put it on top of that pot, it'll smother the fire out because it needs oxygen. In Lafayette, I'm Alex Lobot for KTC TV3. The Lafayette Fire Department will be holding workshops this week in honor of Fire Prevention Week. The department will meet with more than 4,000 students over the next five days. For more information about the fire prevention and safety, head over to our website, ktc.com. And if today's temperatures are